Rhetoric has been around since the genesis of mankind. Although it was not thoroughly analyzed until 400 BC through 300 BC by no other than philosophers Protagoras, Gorgias, and Socrates. In the present day, we find ourselves blindly using rhetoric. We came a long way from sending pigeons to sending telegraphs, to making phone calls to texting, all the way to this. There is no way to avoid rhetoric in our conversations unless we cease to interact with society. The reason behind this active communication is to exchange ideas, persuade others, or to inform. If rhetoric is used effectively, one can change the minds of others, or even change the world, and help those that are lost in confusion. The ancient Greeks were masters of rhetoric and several famous names come to mind when we think of oratory and persuasive speeches. What exactly is rhetoric? Rhetoric can be best defined as the process in which we attempt to communicate with each other, to persuade or to change the world in some way. Its significance cannot be understated and without it, the world would quickly turn chaotic. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you an important news update. Rhetoric, as we know it, has left the world for good. It seems that the lack of attention rhetoric has gotten in all English classes has caused a rhetoric shortage. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say or if any of this has a point, so here's some footage. Alright son, remember your training. Use you your coffee sir. Uh, thank you. Just, just press the button that's in the airplane on the dashboard. No, wait, I think he means this one. No, no, it's wait, next no. to the steering I, no, controls. It's this, this other Quick. one. Next Look, to the. For God's no, wait, wait, sake! Next to the stick. No, one. not that one. No, no. you oh, get oh, all one! Oh, what have you done? Oh, You're oh, taking oh, us oh, down! Oh, no, Captain! What have you done? Captain. No! No, you are not break it! God's sake, Captain! How clear can I be? And this is why we should assemble in the name of peace. He has a curl shirt on. Alright? And global warming. Well, and all what, why things global fluffy. Warming? What, what do we have to and, worry about global and, uh, warming right now? Green paradise. Yeah. What am I just uh, doing here? I just the came best the world ever. Um, I, I, I don't know what else guy? to say. Why is he so it's interesting? Cool. But hey, just, well, just love each other. Is this guy's all that matters. Let's get out of here. Uh, okay. What's wrong with his face? Racist! He's a racist! You just said it is imperative that we all give up our guns. Oh my god! As the graph clearly shows, the life expectancy versus the type of break system is an inverse relationship. Therefore, we should invest in better breaks I, I don't for see how this our customer safety. What are we going to get out of it? Mm -hmm. That sounds unreasonable. Very well, very well. Now, let's look at this other chart, what are you trying which to explains say exactly? the mortality rate of a motorcyclist with very bad brakes. Um, oh. Oh. oh, I think I understood him disgusting. saying something about costs going up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plato recognized the power of rhetoric and how it can be misused by people. In his book, The Republic, he argued that one of the biggest flaws of a democracy is the ability of people being misled through the misuse of good rhetoric to bring about changes that are actually disadvantageous to many. If the majority can be convinced to do something, it can lead to disastrous consequences. Rhetoric is, in essence, the process of communicating with others with the intent to bring about change, whether it is change in behavior or in thinking. In their book, Influencer, 
Carrie Patterson and others state that we employ verbal persuasion as our first influence tool because it is enormously convenient and because it works a great deal of the time.